Our next algorithm is the sorted edges algorithm. And this algorithm um, also is not optimal. However, it does overcome some of the shortcomings of the nearest neighbor and repeated nearest neighbor algorithms. For this algorithm, we're not gonna worry about a starting point. We're just gonna look at all of the edges that we have and pick the smallest edge, okay? The edge with the smallest edge weight. We'll include it to our, uh, our possible uh, our circuit, okay? And then we'll do, go through that until we get a full circuit that includes all of the um, uh, the vertices. The two things that we need to be careful of is we're not allowed to edge add an edge if it creates a circuit that doesn't contain all the vertices. And we're not allowed to add an edge that would give a vertex of degree three because no vertex in a Hamiltonian circuit will have degree three. So let's go ahead and do that uh, here in this graph. The first edge that we add is the edge with the smallest weight. And that is going to be from A to D. That has the smallest edge right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw that. Okay, now looking at what's left, I add the next smallest, which is from A to C. Okay, Adding that did not create a vertex of degree 3, and it didn't create a circuit that doesn't include everything, so I'm good to add that. Now the next edge that I would add, the next smallest, would be from A to B. However, notice that that creates a vertex of degree three, right here at A, and so I cannot include that edge. So I'm not allowed to do that, so I move to my next cheapest. The next cheapest is eight, this eight right here connecting C and D. So if I were to connect C and D, well, that poses another problem. I now have a circuit, okay, A, C, D, that does not include the vertex over at B. So I can't include that one either. So I don't include C to D. I go to my next cheapest. After eight, the next cheapest is nine. So I add in nine from D to B. I didn't create a vertex of degree three and I didn't create a circuit. Okay. Now that I have visited every vertex, I simply connect the final two uh, vertices, that, that, those ends of the path that I had. So this is the circuit um, A, C, B, D, that is, uh, and then back to A, of course, that is produced by the sorted edges algorithm. Go and do another, a uh, little bit more complicated example, just with some more vertices. We start off with our cheapest edge. Our cheapest edge here is from A to C. My next cheapest edge, there's actually two of them. There's a C to D and there's an A to B, both of which are two. Okay, now these don't conflict at all. Um, I can add both of them because neither one of them is going to break my rule my rules of no vertices of degree three and no circuits that don't include everything. So I add both of those. Okay, after two, my next cheapest is three. And I see that right here, connecting B and E to each other. And that did not create a vertex of degree three, nor did it create a circuit that didn't include everything. And now I have visited every vertex and so all I need to do is connect the two ends of the path. That's from E to D. So there's my path that went from A to B, then to E to D to C, and then of course back to A. And that is our Hamiltonian circuit produced by the sorted edges algorithm. Let's look at another here. We've got our, uh, our five cities and the airfare cost between them. We'd like to find a Hamiltonian circuit here. We find the cheapest edge. The cheapest flight here is the $70 flight from LA to Seattle. So we'll go ahead and add that in. The next cheapest is the $75 from Chicago to Atlanta. The next cheapest is from Dallas to Atlanta. The next cheapest is from Chicago to Los Angeles. And now I've connected all of my vertices, all, all my vertices are, are connected now with the path. Now I just add the endpoints of the path. 
there is my Hamiltonian circuit just going around the outside of this graph. Okay, now sometimes we just have a table that has our um, our edges, our edge weights listed in it, and we don't actually see the graph. For these, it's going to be the absolute. It's going to be the easiest to actually draw it out. Okay, so I've got five uh, vertices here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw them. So I've got um, a a b c d and e. It doesn't matter how you draw them. Just draw them kind of in a circle. And then we'll start to add. So the nice thing about these is we don't actually need to use the whole uh, the whole table. We only need to use half of it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the bottom half. We don't need to look at that at all because it's the same up here. We've got the same numbers up there. So looking here, I look for my smallest connection. My smallest connection here is this one right here. From A to E has a weight of 20. Now, from the rest of what's left, I look for my smallest, and that's going to be the 24 right here. 24. That's from B to E. So we'll go ahead and connect those. And that's 24. I like to write in the weights because um, just to give me a visual of where those edge weights are. All right, now from what's left, I look through and I see the next weight, the smallest, is from B to C, that 25 right there. So from B to C, we can draw that. We're still good, we're not breaking any rules yet. And that was a weight of 25. Okay, after 25, the next uh, smallest is the 29 from D to C. Let's go ahead and add that in. D to C. The weight of 29. Okay, now you can see we've visited every vertex. So all that's left is to add the, or to connect the two endpoints. That's from A to D, and that was this one right here. That's a 36. So there's our graph uh, produced by the sorted edges algorithm. Let's do another one with an, one extra vertex. We've got six vertices here, A through F. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. And again, it doesn't matter how you draw it, just kind of do it circular so that it'll be easy to, to draw in all your connections. Okay, then we're not going to need the whole table, we only need uh, half of it. So we can cut out the top or the bottom half, doesn't matter which one. Okay, in these numbers, in the top half, the smallest number is this 11 from D to E. So let's go ahead and draw that connection. That's a weight of 11. Okay, the next smallest looks like it's this 12 right here from A to D. Okay, oop, let's do that straight. From A to D, that connection is 12. All right, now looking for our next smallest. I'm thinking maybe it's the 17 right here. That looks right. From D to F. Okay, now notice, if I go from D to F, I've got a problem. I ha that gives me a vertex of degree three. I can't have three edges coming off of that. So I'm not allowed to do that. So we get rid of that uh, D to F. We're not allowed to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just cross it off so that I remember I'm not allowed to use that. Okay, my next cheapest or next smallest edge looks like it's going to be this 20 right here. Okay, and that's from D to C. Notice that the same thing happens there. That would give me a vertex of degree 3. So we can't do that one either. Let's go ahead and cross that off. Can't use that. All right. The uh, the next cheapest is going to be, looks like 24 is our next cheapest. Okay. And uh, that's from B to E. And we're good to add that one. That's not breaking any rules. From B to E, weight of 24. 
right, our next cheapest uh, with what's left is, looks like this 27 here from C to F. C to F. Okay, and that was a weight of uh, 27. The next cheapest is, uh, looks like 31 from B to C. From B to C. Um, and that was from, that was a weight of 31. Okay, notice we've got now a path, a Hamiltonian path, A, D, E, B, C, F. Once we have connected um, everything in Hamiltonian path, we just need to connect the two ends. So from A to F is going to be our final connection. That's a weight of 41. And there is our Hamiltonian circuit produced by the sorted edges algorithm. Okay, why don't you go ahead and try this on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do the sorted edges algorithm on this uh, graph. Okay, our smallest, uh, smallest edge here is uh, this 11 right here. It's nothing smaller than 11, so that's our connection from A to B. Okay, after 11, the smallest connection is 13. That's from B down to G. Okay, next smallest uh, looks like is this 14 from A to E. Okay, our next smallest is from E to F, that 15 connection. All right, my next smallest is, uh, what, 17. But that would be from E to C. That would give me a degree 3 at E, so I can't do that one. Let's cross that off. We don't want to use that. Okay, next smallest is 19. 19 from, uh, from F to G. Notice that if I were to include that, it creates a circuit that does not include C. So we're not allowed to use that one either. Go ahead and cross that off as well. We don't want to use that. Okay, we go through. Now, at this point, I want to point something out. We have visited every vertex except for C. What this means is we know C needs to connect to both of our ends. Okay? There's no way around that. And so once you visited everything except for one vertex, you are free to go ahead and just connect that one vertex to both endpoints, and that is the uh, circuit produced by the sorted edges algorithm. To get the total weight of the circuit, of course, you can just then add each of these edge weights.